Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today we're talking all about cover letters and if they're really necessary. I am Raquel and this channel is all about giving career advice and HR tips so that you can really make an impact in the professional world. Please consider subscribing before you leave and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. So let's jump right into it. So what's a cover letter? A cover letter is a document that is sent with your resume. It's supposed to be an introduction of you and it's supposed to highlight your skills and experiences. It's not intended to be a repeat of your resume. It's your time to stand out from the crowd and it's supposed to be your sales pitch on how you would be best fit for the position. It's really supposed to win you the interview. But really, do you need to write a cover letter to apply for a job? So based on my experience and talking with recruiters over over my career, most will tell you that many hiring managers and recruiters are not going to read your cover letter. Now, if you're applying for a job that specifically asks you to submit both your resume and your cover letter, you better submit both because that's a requirement for applying for that job. But that's not really what I'm talking about here. When applying for a job that doesn't specify the need for a cover letter, I'm not saying never to provide one. What I'm simply saying is that you don't want to delay applying for that job that you think you would be really good at because you haven't perfected the cover letter and you haven't wrote it and it's not how you want it. Because most of the times it's not going to be read anyway and that's just me giving you the real deal. Spend your precious time making sure that your resume is in tip top shape, that it's tailored to the job that you're applying for because most of the times recruiters are going to go straight to the resume. There are better ways to get the information that you want recruiters to see besides including a cover letter. So for example, if you're emailing a recruiter your resume and instead of attaching the cover letter, you may want to include a summary of the information in your cover letter or highlights from your cover letter in the body of the email so that the recruiter can really see it. Most of the times the recruiter will get your email and what they'll do, they'll spend maybe 10 to 15 seconds glancing over the body of the email, but then they're going straight to the resume, which is attached in the email. Now, if you don't take away anything from this video, take away this one important point. If you are going to write an introduction to yourself in the body of the email, do it in four sentences, make it quick and to the point. So for example, Sentence one, introduce yourself. Hi, Jane Smith, I am Raquel Toussaint. I'm writing to inquire about the accounting manager position that I saw posted on linkedin.com. Use sentence two to tell them why you're a strong candidate for the position and to highlight your years of experience. So for example, you can say, I have 10 years of experience in accounting and finance, and here are my qualifications. And then you can bullet point some of the highlights of your career and your qualifications in about four to five bullets. Use section three to really point the recruiter to a particular section in your resume that you want to highlight. For example, you can say, see the top of my resume that highlights my experience in acquisitions and mergers. Use the last sentence to really close out the email and you can say something like this. I'm looking forward to speaking with you more about this position. If you feel like I'm a great candidate for this position or any other position in the organization. That way you can let the recruiter know that you are also interested in talking about any other positions that they may have posted in the company that you might also be a good fit for. I hope you found this information helpful. And like I said, if you're applying for a job that's specific specifically asks you to submit a cover letter because it's a requirement for applying for that job, go ahead and do so. But in the meantime, focus on perfecting your resume and then you will have time to perfect a cover letter later on. Don't let it delay you applying from a job that you feel like you would be good at. But before you leave, don't forget to consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.